guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. This is the channel where we share young womanhood 101. So college, lifestyle, health and wellness, self-care, relationships, all of the above. So if you like that type of content, make sure to subscribe. But today we're going to be doing advice for dealing with burnout as a college student because I dealt with a lot of burnout and I have lots of advice. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into this video. First, I wanna share a little bit of my burnout story so that I have credibility for the advice I'm gonna give and the advice will be at the end. But I was a full-time student and a full-time manager in retail. And I was also a new wife and an influencer in 2021. So I just had a lot on my plate. It's not for the faint of heart to do all those things at once, but I reached my breaking point probably in October of 2021. I was just in this constant cycle where I would go to class in the morning, work in the afternoon, and I'd see my husband for an hour at night while we were eating dinner. And it was just not a good cycle. During this season of my life, I knew that I was very burnt out because I was crying four times a week which is really horrible. <laughs> I just could not juggle it anymore. And I wanted to quit my job, but I couldn't quit my job because we wanted to buy a house. And you have to, in order to be qualified for most loans, have to have steady income for at least two years. That's the loan that we were looking at. I was at the retail job for two years. So if I quit my job, then I'd have to wait another two years to be qualified for that loan. So I couldn't quit my job because we really wanted to buy a house and just wanted to move forward with that. And I also was thinking about quitting college or changing my major just because I wasn't enjoying what I was studying. I was scared that if I switched my major that I would have to be in college for longer and I was wanting to graduate in 2023. That was the goal. During my breaking point, I just laid everything out on the table every area of my life and I started praying through each one of them and I started with college and I found a major at my college in communications which is what I wanted to do. I was able to graduate in 2023 if I switched and the major that I had which was worship leading I could make that a minor because I had already completed all the classes for it. So at least that part of my college career would not be wasted, but I could still have something to show for it. So I switched very easily. It was not a hard process and I was feeling really good about that. Around like November-ish, the Lord just provided this house that I'm sitting in right now and we were able to move in in December. I have a whole video about us moving into this house so if you want to see it, I'll let you know where it's at. It's probably up here. But I was able to move into this house December 4th. And I put in my notice at my job right after that because I wanted to get a new job after we got into the house. I am so grateful that I was able to get out of such a tight spot. And now in 2022, I'm learning how to heal from that burnout and how to prevent it from happening again. So my advice, if you are feeling burnt out, I know most people experience burnout one time or another, but if you are right now, I would start with laying out every area of your life just on the table and prayerfully consider what is worth keeping and what is worth getting rid of. A practical way to do this is even to write the areas on post-it notes and then just spread them out so you can see everything that you're involved in just in front of you. Don't forget to put the roles that you have too. So wife, friend, boyfriend, like those types of relationships because those relationships take your time too and you're a part of those. After considering what needs to stay or go, pray through what it will look like practically to make transitions or decisions. This may take an hour, or it may take several months. For me, it took two months for me to figure out what I was gonna do and how I was gonna get out of my burnt out situation. Just pray that God would open the doors for you to step in or close the doors that you can step out of. Once you have a direction, get people around you to support you in these decisions or transitions you're gonna make. 
I think my biggest supporters were my husband, Alec, and my best friend, Carly, were huge in helping me get through all of these things. Now that I work for a real estate company and that's my new job, and I've transitioned into that new era, it's important to implement healthy habits in your life to prevent that burnout again. I am definitely still working on this and I could do a whole other video about the habits that I've implemented. So let me know if you wanna see that. But for an example, one of them was when I worked in retail and I was just so burnt out and never having the energy to make myself food for the day because I was always out of the house. I probably ate Chick-fil-A like every other day and I had a Coke every single day, which is so bad for you. So now I'm really focusing on healthier habits for eating because that was such a problem for me. So for you, that could be food, it could be your sleep, it could be your exercise, whatever you need to implement healthy habits for. This last thing is just a reminder is that you deserve to live life more abundantly. And I feel like oftentimes when we're burnt out, we feel like we just deserve it. A lot of people, especially people I've talked to, think that they're stuck in their job or stuck in their situation and they just have to pull up their bootstraps <laughs> and just keep going because they feel like they're not worth more than that. What I want to encourage you with is that God actually wants us to live life abundantly. He didn't destine us to work away our days at jobs that we don't enjoy. He gave us passions that can be turned into jobs too. So I just wanted to encourage you that you do not have to stay in your situation. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me, because I love to do those for you. And I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye, guys.